What is up everybody, this is your boy, and I'm here giving you a guide on Dead Rising's Transmissionary Achievement. This is where you answer all calls from Otis during 72 hour mode. So you're going to want to start a fresh 72 hour mode game. And then not only that, but I do recommend the Zombie Genocide Achievement, getting that one first, and unlocking the real Mega Buster. It'll make this super quick, and you won't really have to worry about bosses not, you know, certain bosses don't react well to melee weapons like the chainsaw. Um, but anyway... Things to remember is to save often, and also I do have to bust the myth if you get interrupted, if a call gets interrupted while you're answering it, you will still get the achie achievement as long as you answer the call again on its second go. If you miss that call, you won't get the achievement. So don't worry about if you get attacked by a zombie in the middle of a call, it won't affect it. But anyway, no calls are received while in the security room or the rooftop. Um, and that same goes for if you're in the same area that the scoop takes place in. So, you know, if Ronald spawns in your Paradise Plaza, you won't get the call for Ronald. Um, there is a maximum survivor limit of eight. That means if there are currently eight active survivors within like the mall itself that aren't saved, um, you will not receive any more calls. So make sure you, that you take care of them as they come. Day two is really where that issue really comes into play. And then also you're going to need some survivors for certain rooms because certain survivors with side quests uh, require having three survivors around them. For instance, if you look over where uh, Jeff, Natalie, and Leah are up in the top right there. Um, they're around Kindle. Kindle needs those three in order to get the call for Kindle's betrayal. And you need survivors in each room except for the red one. That's why I have a big X through that because there's no scoop survivors in there. That's like a useless room. But anyway, moving on to the guide. Uh, you're going to want to finish up the intro where you come into the mall. And then you're going to go ahead and head into the, um, into the scary room here and go ahead and do the first intro part just go immediately in there go to the trash in the back and trigger the cutscene and then reappear in here um but anyway go ahead and grab some food and i do emphasize saving just like i always say save a lot if you don't have the real mega buster check out my guide i it's very old i'm gonna warn you it's very old i mean i made it when i was a kid so don't even worry about that uh but anyway jeff and natalie they spawn as soon as you get out on the mall so go ahead and save them they're gonna be the ones going into the room with kindle um, and if you want to make this quick, put a marker down near the security room, uh, travel spot there, because if you go near the vent, you can actually bring him in one at a time, and you don't have to worry about that massive hug that takes, like, forever. Um, go ahead and save Jeff, and then bring Natalie in, save her, they'll go both go in those rooms. Um, go ahead and go back out and go into warehouse, where you'll be greeted by the very first call. This is the warehouse intro. Um... You'll get it as soon as you get in the warehouse, as soon as you get the transceiver and get in the warehouse. So go ahead and answer that. Uh, you're going to want to, after this, just go ahead and head out into Leisure Park. But make sure you don't trigger Case 1 while this call is active because they'll have to call you back. But anyway, go out in the Leisure Park and you're going to wait here till 2 p.m. for Cut from the Same Cloth. This is a very unimportant case and I don't even know if you need to kill the survivor for it. I... I don't because I mean you can't save Kent so I don't think he'd count towards the active survivor limit but better safe than sorry might as well pop him in the face in case of Tad still for some reason lingering on here so you're gonna want to go ahead and head after the call go into paradise and shoot Kent right in the face it's the most satisfying thing in the world everyone wants to shoot Kent as soon as they see them he is a complete douchebag so go ahead and kill that mofo. You don't have to, honestly. I don't think you do. But just in case, you know, better safe than sorry, right? Go ahead and go to the food court. This is where you're going to go ahead and take care of Carlito. Pop him right in the face. He's going to die immediately. Bring Brad through the Alfresca Plaza. You do not have to wait on him. He will show up in North Plaza after the cutscene to open the gate. Go ahead and finish up case 1-3. And the first thing you're going to get is the Entrance Plaza intro call. This one you will only get if you complete case 1-3 or if the case runs out of time. But go ahead and do that. You're going to answer that call and then you're going to head upstairs. Take a right at Estelle's Cosmetics. And one of them, as soon as you get past that circular part, you'll see in the closet, get Bill. Keep him inside Entrance Plaza until 4 p.m. You're going to get the call for Barricade Pair A and B. And after this one, you're going to sit still in Entrance Plaza for the next call, which is a Mother's Lament at 5 p.m. Once you get that call, go ahead and wait for a Mother's Lament. That is at 5 p.m. You'll get the call for that one. That's going to be your fifth call. And then afterwards, we're going to bring Bill into Alfresca. So go ahead, 
answer that call get that one counted towards your achievement progress so there we have it we have a mother's lament that's all the survivors we need to save at the moment we'll not get another call until 9 p.m uh this will take a while so go ahead and put bill inside of the uh anywhere safe really as long as no survivor can get to him the hardware store is fine that store or the gym's fine but go ahead and get leah and then hop over and get burn aaron if leah gets stuck on something uh you have to call the survivors to you that's why i always recommend getting her first because with bill inside the gym he can't actually get out of there but anyway make sure you save often and then go ahead and bring these survivors after you save into the food court this is where you're going to be greeted by the food court intro. You will not get this call until after you finish case 1-3. Um, so go ahead and take care of that. And um, careful of running zombies. They will destroy you. You can kill Sophie too. You don't have to, but you can kill her too. But I didn't make it back to the safe room before 9 o'clock, so I got the next call, which is out of control. This is the one with Adam. As you can tell on the left behind that uh, graphic there, you can see Bert, Aaron, and Leah still in my thing and Bill. Uh, but I went back and go ahead and finish up theirs and go finish up case one four. This is going to finish up case one entirely and you're not going to get another case until 6 a.m. We're going to be moving fast for this guide. So go back if you need to, by the way. This is our next call at 10 p.m. Don't be in Wonderland Plaza, but you're going to get in. This is actually a different achievement guide. I'm working on the PP Sicker Achievement Collection Guide. It kind of merged. So you'll see this clip again. But anyway, you get the call for Japanese tourists at 10 p.m. Make sure you're not sitting in Wonderland Plaza or North Plaza at any point between 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. on day one. So here's 11 p.m. We are in the Leisure Park, and we should get a call for Shadow of the North Plaza. This is gonna be your last call until case six. So you can go ahead. Um, the only one important out of this is, uh, of course, out of control because you're gonna want that shortcut opened. That shortcut's going to make your life a lot better. And not having to go into the leisure park is a blessing. Going into Wonderland Plaza, you're going to get immediately bombarded by another call for the intro of the Wonderland Plaza. This is uh, something that you're going to get as soon as you get in. Um, so go ahead and answer that one. And then you're going to want to go ahead and take care of Adam. That's where we're going now. We're going to pop him a few times. Wait for him to blow a balloon and then shoot him with your Mega Buster. Grab Greg and bring him to the shortcut. You're going to unlock the shortcut. As soon as you see that B button appear for going to Paradise Plaza, you can go ahead and shoot him in the face. Go into North Plaza now. You can kill Shinji and Yu if you want of Japanese tourists, but or you can leave them. Uh, go ahead and go into North Plaza. You're going to be greeted by the North Plaza intro. Uh, I always do it right here because this is like the safest spot for it. And then you can either kill uh, David or you can leave him. But anyway, go into Maintenance Tunnel in this massive gap of time that you have before Case 2. And you're going to be greeted by the call for the maintenance tunnel. That's going to explain where the, uh, he lost a key and all this other stuff. You go ahead and grab the key. You're going to need it. So it's just right in the door in front of you. And just look in that room. You'll find it. But if you wait outside of the scary room rooftop for case two. So at 6 a.m. you'll get the call. And then you have an hour to get there. So make sure you're outside of the security room and uh, the rooftop. And you'll get the call for case two. As soon as you get that. As soon as you activate case two. You're going to come down into warehouse. And you're going to get the call for the entrance plaza gate. Um, that means that the gate is now open. And you can go ahead and um, use that. So we're going to continue with case two. Run through medicine run. You're going to uh, get to the supermarket and you'll get be greeted by the supermarket intro. This is only a, this is specific to this case. You will not get this call if you don't do the cases. So you do have to do it up to case eight. But anyway, uh, wait around till 7 a.m. You're going to get the call for lovers. Um, I don't know if it's lovers A and B. I want to say it's lovers A and B, but I can't tell you. But you'll get a call. It's for lovers A and B. Yep, there it is. It is actually lovers A and B. I was right. Go ahead and go and get the medication. So you have to fight Steve and all that. And on your way back, kill Tanya and Ross. This is day two. You're going to need to kill most of the survivors on this day because they will overlap. So go ahead and pop both of them in the face and then go return the medication and wait in the warehouse for the hatchet man. This is at 8 a.m. Or if it's close to 8 a.m., don't return the medication until you get this call first. So go ahead and answer the hatchet man's call. This is for the uh, hatchet man and Chris lips. And we're going to go ahead and head straight there. Go ahead and take care of Cliff. Be careful his backstab move. The Mega Buster will do the trick pretty fast. And then you're going to want to go in the empty store next to him and kill his survivors. So Barbara, uh, Joshua, and Richard, you're going to want to just kill all of them. 
So anyway, uh, 9 o'clock, you got the coward. Go ahead and wait outside of Alfresca. I always wait in the food court for this one. You're going to answer the call and then go in and kill the coward. There's going to be two other survivors spawning off of no call. You're going to kill them too. Because honestly, it's not worth it. But anyway, first off, you want to kill the coward. Get Gordon. Kill him. Head into Paradise Plaza from here. Kill Pamela in that massive crowd of zombies. And then hop into the toy store of Child's Play and shoot Heather right in the head and kill her. And then you're going to want and wait around, uh, wait outside of Paradise Plaza for Ronald. Um, but first, I got the call for the Professor's Pass. The case call will always come first and the survivor call will always come second. So I actually ran through Paradise before I got Ronald's call. So this is about like 11.15, 11.30. Um, I went ahead and answered for uh, the a hungry man or whatever that case is called. I always forget that one. Restaurant man. Ah, restaurant man, not hungry man. But anyway, go ahead and do the professor's pass before you get Ronald. That way you don't have to worry about cases until 3 p.m. Go and get Ronald. Make sure you have food on you. Go ahead and hand him a... If you need food, there's an infinite amount of orange juice upstairs. But anyway, at 12 p.m., you're going to get above the law. It took me a little bit to get him here. Um, but you are going to need to save Ronald. He is a scoop survivor. That's what the red means. Uh, that means that you absolutely need him. And go ahead and return him. And we're going to go and do our wait outside of... Just go ahead and wait until 1 p.m. in Paradise Plaza. That's going to be when Jennifer spawns. But you want to not have her spawn until you enter uh, Wonderland. Wonderland, because you need Nick, he spawns at 1 p.m. So wait outside of Wonderland for him. Um, and then once at 1 p.m., go ahead and use the shortcut. Uh, kill Sally. Go upstairs. Take care of Joe. She's pretty easy with the Mega Buster, so don't even worry about her. I had actually entered Wonderland and left it, so all of the other survivors disappeared. I went ahead and killed Kay on the chair there. Um, and then I went and cleared out the spot underneath Nick here, because we're going to need to save him. So go ahead and save his ass. He's a pretty easy survivor to get back to the safe room. You don't really have to worry too much about him getting mauled to death on the way, because he is actually super quick. And then we're going to go ahead and go and return him. But before we can, we'll get the Ranko Colt. You do need to take care of these guys. Take care of them. Save Jennifer. Don't save her, save her, but just get her out of the box. This is going to bring upon the next call for a strange group later on down the line. You will not get that call if you do not take care of Jennifer here. If you let them sacrifice her, that is it. But anyway, go ahead and kill her, bring Nick back to the security room, and then you're going to want to wait around until case 4-1. You'll get that call at 3 p.m. I kind of I had to go take care of another thing for a different guy that I was working on, so that's why I'm naked here. Um, Frank is now answering the call for case 4. Uh, this is going to be like one of the bigger ones. The rest of them are just mainly cutscenes. But anyway, go ahead and take care of case 4 immediately, and at 5 p.m., you're going to get three calls. It's Antique Lover, Mark of the Sniper, and the woman who didn't make it. Now, these three calls are super, super important um, because three of them you're going to save. It's Rachel, Jolie, and Floyd. Floyd is a scoop survivor. So once you get these guys, make sure you're not in Entrance Plaza for these calls. You do not want to be in Entrance Plaza. You will not get the calls for them. But if you leave Entrance Plaza within a reasonable time, you'll probably still get the calls. So... Just make sure that you're not in there for an extended duration. But anyway. Once you're done answering these calls, this is going to be like kind of like a very, very long part of it. You're going to want to go ahead in and take care of them because the next one's going to be Ronald's Appetite 7. So you got some time to take care of Jack, Roger, and I believe... What, what's his... I don't know what the other, the other guy is. But anyway, go ahead and kill Wayne. Just shoot him in the face. Go grab Jolie. You're going to want to grab Jolie downstairs first because you can't grab Rachel without Jolie. And go ahead and bring her upstairs and get Rachel. They're pretty easy survivors. They pretty much sprint. So you don't have to worry about them doing something stupid. They will get stuck on things here and there if you use markers. Um, but go ahead and grab Floyd in the antique store across from where you got Rachel from. This is all upstairs so you don't have to go downstairs for it. Go and bring them back. Unfortunately, I didn't get out in time. and <laughs> I got the next call for Ronald's Appetite. Uh, don't bring them all the way back to the security room. Stay in the warehouse until 7 p.m. and then take them back. Because you want to make sure you also have food on you. 
make sure you have food please because he sits in a room with other survivors that need other survivors there and you'll have to go fill those gaps with someone else and if you even can um but anyway return them back to the safe room our next survivor is gonna be isabella and kendall on case 5-1 um but first you're gonna want to go and um take care of ronald's appetite so it doesn't go walking out with everybody because as of right now there's enough people in this to get all of the side quest calls But anyway, once you go ahead and give him a drink, you're going to go ahead and uh, just kind of wait around outside of North Plaza for, you want to stay out of pretty much any of those up at the top there. So North Plaza, Colby's Movie Land, Paradise Plaza, you want to stay out of that. I stay in Leisure Park, um, take care of the convicts and just kind of fuck around with their stuff. But anyway, you're going to get the call for case 5-1 and a strange group. So go ahead and just kind of chill here until you get both of those calls. And then you're going to want to head into North Plaza. A strange group we're going to take care of last. We only need to save Cheryl out of that group. But the first two we're going to need to save is Isabella and Kendall. Because you can't get Simone later on who is a scoop survivor without Isabella. So you're going to need Isabella. And then Kendall is a scoop survivor himself. He'll have Kendall's betrayal later on in the game. So you're going to want to save him. He's right outside this door. I just slapped him right in the face of the door. Go ahead and trans er, give him a different weapon. I highly recommend not giving him the shotgun who will shoot you a million times. Return them back to the safe room. Finish up case 5-2. And then you took care of both Isabella and Kendall. Now you have Sh uh, Cheryl. So you're going to want to take care of Sean. Go ahead and kill any of the survivors within the room with him. And then you're going to want to go and get Cheryl in the closet here. You don't need to save any other survivors in here. Just Cheryl. She will go in the same room with Ronald. Ronald will count as a survivor, I believe, towards... Her scoop, but you do need three survivors in there first. Ronald's call, I think. But anyway, wait around until 2 a.m. You're going to get Floyd the Smellier. I would not take Cheryl back until 2 a.m. at least. Um, if you haven't already received that call. You'll get Floyd the Smellier, and that is where you need to bring him a bottle of wine. You do not have to do this one. It doesn't have any blasting effects. But anyway, go ahead and get Cheryl to join you and bring her close to the security room. But wait around until 3 a.m. because you're going to get the K61 call. That's for Santa Cabeza. Now go ahead and answer Santa Cabeza call. And then once you get that, it pretty much just means that you have another case that you have to take care of. Bring Cheryl back and then you're going to want to go and take care of case six. We have two more cases to go through. Well, one more case, one more full case. But anyway, go ahead and wait around outside of Wonderland Plaza for a long-haired punk. Um, at 5 a.m. He's a very important survivor. He does have two others with him, but go ahead and kill them and save Paul. Because Paul is a scoop survivor. You'll get Paul's present later on in the game. So make sure when you get him, you save him. Uh, the next call you're going to get is for a sick man. But for now, go ahead and take care of Mindy and Debbie in the closet. And save Paul. So if, you have, if you're struggling, that's why I say save often because the fire extinguisher sucks in this game. It's hard to put him out. But anyway, wait around until 8 a.m. You're going to want to, uh, you know what? Now that I think of it, you're going to want to go and take care of Gil. At least Gil. You don't need to take care of, because there's a couple no-call survivors. That's Gil. Um, and then the other gun store survivors that appear after Curtis dies. So as you can tell, I'm, I'm killing Alyssa, Jonathan, and Brett here. Um, so I'm taking care of all the no-calls. Because there's going to be one more no-call after this, I think. And that is uh, Susan. But anyway, you're going to want to go ahead and head outside of Wonderland Plaza. Just wait there. And you'll get a sick man call. Go ahead and answer that call. That's going to give you your 30 second call. We're getting close here. So make sure you're pausing and going back as you need. Because this is a very fast guide. I'm so sorry for that. It's just I want to make this as quick as possible. But anyway, um, go ahead and kill those other survivors. You don't have to kill them. Actually, you can leave them. But wait around until 11 a.m. This is going to be for case 7-1. This call specifically is very, uh, it's pretty much your last like full active case. You do need to receive the call for case 8-1. But case 7 is the last one you need to do in its entirety. But anyway, at noon, if you're not, wait out, don't be in Paradise Plaza at noon. You'll get the call for Simone. She'll last a while, so you don't need to really worry about getting her real quick, because I'm still in the middle of Bomb Collector. And then around, yeah, at noon, 
you'll have Kindle's Betrayal and Simone's Call. So you got two calls there, one for Kindle's Betrayal and a Woman in Despair. Go ahead and take care of them. Um, or their calls. You do. You will need to save Kindle, I believe. Or take care of Kindle's. But anyway, after you can take care of K7, uh, you're going to want to come and get Simone in the CD shop. She's your last survivor you need to save. So once you get Simone, you're done with saving survivors. Um, you need Isabella for her because otherwise you won't. But anyway, you, you'll get Case 8-1 and Paul's present at 5 p.m. You can choose to uh, deal with Kindle or you can just leave him and let him go. As long as you get the call, that's all you need. But anyway, uh, you get two calls here at 5 p.m. on day three. It's Case 8 and Paul's present. Um, those are just uh, ones you don't need to do. So you can let, you can, at this moment, you can let the cases die. But anyway, here's the next call at 7 p.m. This is Simone the Gunslinger. You are going to want to go ahead and wait outside. I'm just waiting in the warehouse right now. So we're getting all of the request calls. So you have Simone, Cheryl's request, Paul's present. And all those are going to come pretty much right back to back. There's like an hour between the first two calls. But then the other two is back to back um, pretty much. And then so once you get that call, you are done. That's all your calls. You should get the transmissionary achievement right here. So if you need to go back for anything, go back for anything. Um, make sure you're following this guide very closely. You'll get the transmissionary achievement. And you might fail here and there, but make sure you save. Load saves. Always load saves. But anyway, after that, you're going to want to just go through the entire game. Get to, uh, Just finish the game up. Get back to the helicopter. And then once you get that, you should be unlocking the mall uniform after all this. So... Um, I, I think I actually left some time in here to wrap up everything, but I, th I think I wrapped up everything that I needed. I just kind of walked through. Just kind of watch the video, pause where you need to. Um, I highly recommend actually watching videos before you even, you know, do anything with them. Um, uh, just so you know what your what plan is. But anyway, once you get out of the mall, uh, you'll be greeted by the ending loading screen. I don't know why this is going on for so long, but here it is. <laughs> And then you'll get all your unlocks here. And as you can tell right there, the mall employee uniform has been added to the security room. But anyway, guys, I would like to say thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps. If there's any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for any guides or you want me to either make or redo for my previous guides, let me know. I'll be happy to do so. But anyway, hope this helped. Let me know if it didn't. I'll try to fix it for you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Woo!